When you are sitting here silently, turning your phone down and wondering what I'm going to talk about, miracle has happened. To be in the moment is the miracle. In the 4.6 million years of the Earth's history, many things have been changed greatly. You may want to travel through the time channel and see what life do dinosaurs live or what made humans be able to use fire. You are always curious about the past and sometimes even regretful for not being born in the prosperous Tang Dynasty or failed to live in Socrates' time. But the thing is, going back to the past is impossible for us now. You are always living in the present, or rather, the modern days. I know it's very easy to get bored of our daily life, and if you do, my advice is to look around you and say what is going on. Today is a time of rapid changing. 5G era, China's socialist construction, the exploration of humans' new habitats are all in the air. Be excited about what is around you. Catch up with the time because you are the witness to it. Isn't it so lucky that you are born to experience even a tiny period of the Earth's fantastic history? Okay, now we know that we are living in a wonderful time and here the question is, how to make our own moment wonderful? Michael London once said, Somebody should tell us right at the start of our life that we are dying, so we might live life to the limit every minute of every day. We all know that we are dying. We all know that there won't be a tomorrow. Yet none of us really live like we know that. As for me, I often attempt to escape from the moment when I meet some difficulties. After browsing my phone or escaping into some beautiful daydreams for a couple of minutes, I feel totally regretful. And the feeling of regret always leads to a sense of failure, which really has a negative effect on me, making me unable to finish my work. The more I regret, the more things I feel to do. So I call it the time killer circle. People fall into depression because of their past failure. People living a painful life because they have lost their loved ones. At the same time, personal success in the past can also be the mother of failure, there are too many scientists, athletes, actors who stopped making achievements even at a very young age after they had established their fame. People always stick to the past, making them hard to go a new way. The British Prime Minister Lloyd George had a famous story of closing doors. George closes the door everywhere he went past. A friend asked him why he did that. He answered, I'm closing the doors that leads to my past. Forgetting about your past and looking forward, that's one of the keys to succeed. So try hard to overcome yourself and focus on what you are doing now is the quickest and easiest way to succeed because you are going straight forward, facing right the moment, not your past or your future. Your past is over and gone. The future is not guaranteed. Only your present is real. Only the present was fighting for. Akatola once said, "Some Akatola once said, unease, anxiety, tension, stress, worry, all forms of fear are caused by too much future and not enough present. Guilt, regret, resentment, grievances, sadness, bitterness, all for, all forms of worry." are caused by too much past and not enough presence. Enjoy life, fight for it. Take every second and savor it. Remember now is the most important time because it is the only time in life you have any power. Thank you.